In a previous video I had shown you uh, harvesting Jerusalem artichoke uh, during fall. So during fall you want to let it, the plant completely die down and then after that you can go and harvest it, harvest it whenever you want. You can keep it uh, throughout winter I would say pretty easily uh, in a cold dark place for sure with a specific humidity I would say uh, not too too wet not too dry uh, I found that if you cover it with some soil it helps because without soil it tends to um, to develop fungus and uh, it will rotten so you can cover some soil loosely and then uh, store it in a dark uh, cold place what I like doing is I like putting it in, uh, after cleaning it, putting it in a bag and then uh, keep it on the bottom of the refrigerator and it lasts uh, until like January. So what I do is rather than harvest everything during fall, I harvest half of it and I have a crop from let's say end of September until January and then the uh, second half I come and harvest it in uh, late March to early April once the, the soil is thawed and you have to go fast before they sprout out so just go and start digging uh, as soon as the soil is, uh, is uh, thawed so what I'll do is just dig and uh, grab these beautiful Jerusalem artichokes and same thing as during fall Put it in a nice big container fill it with some soil if you want to or just put it in a bag and keep it in in the refrigerator um, so now this harvest will take me another three four months so uh, we're uh, april uh, may june july august i'll have i'll have uh, enough to eat until uh, almost end of summer uh, if kept properly but it's better to eat it you know as soon as possible when it's fresh it's always better crispier so pretty much by cultivating Jerusalem artichoke you get uh, fresh garden vegetables pretty much throughout the year uh, Jerusalem artichoke native to North America is an amazing uh, plant uh, loaded with uh, nutrients uh, it's also a very good uh, nutri nutrient for people suffering diabetes because it doesn't have sugar it has uh, instead inulin which is uh, a sweetener a natural sweetener however it doesn't uh, upset people with uh, diabetes so this is a miracle food I would say and you can eat them raw just peel it off and then uh, slice it crunch it you can just steam it a few five minutes or you can make a soup out of it it's uh, really delicious uh, one thing is don't start eating um, a big amount the first time uh, let your body adjust because these causes a lot of flatulence I guess because of the inulin which ends up in your intestine and the bacteria go crazy about it so take it easy with that start slowly and then build it up and um, since it's spring I'm harvesting the second half I'm gonna make sure to leave a, a few nice big ones put it back into the soil and that will grow through summer so uh, this plant is in the family of the uh, sunflower. Uh, if you smell it, you will notice there's a sun, sunflower uh, smell like. And uh, it grows, it's like a weed. It grows by itself. You don't have to do anything at all. Just give him space and um, it produces a lot. I'm telling you, it's kilos and kilos. Look, I just put my hand down there and grab a whole bunch more. So just let the plant take over, grow. You're gonna have to control it because it's gonna want to spread. And then um, you don't have to do anything. Just let it grow. And then during fall, let it die down and, uh, and harvest your tubers. So that's it, super easy plant, healthy, uh, good for the environment. You go from your garden into your kitchen and no transportation, no nothing. So that's it, enjoy. And it's very easy to find these from uh, stores. If not, put a, put a you know, ad online saying if anybody has some to give